Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn subject EVS. Lesson number 16 Sensory Organs. In last video we have learned about 5 sensory organs. The eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin are our 5 sensory organs. Now see coordination in our movements. We carry out many tasks. For every task we make different kinds of movements. We use different parts of our body for these different movements. The woman in this picture is roasting some peanuts in a pan. Which parts of her body is she using? Her head is bent forward. She is holding the pan steady with the tongs in her left hand. With the spatula in her right hand, she is stirring the peanuts in the pan. Her eyes are on the pan. She is watching to ensure that the peanuts are properly roasted. Well roasted peanuts have a typical savory flavor. When her nose gets that smell, she is going to put off the gas stove. You can see that several parts of her body need to work together smoothly. If they were not coordinated, she would fumble. The peanuts might spill. They may be overdone or they may not get roasted well enough. We need coordination to get any task done smoothly. Lack of coordination gives rise to mistakes or muddles. Overcoming disability If a part of our body does not function well, we face many difficulties. If our eyes do not function well, we cannot see properly. If our ears do not work as they should, we cannot hear well. In such a situation, our movements are not smooth. We find it difficult to do things on, on our own. But such situation can be overcome. Some disabilities can be corrected by medical treatment. In some matters, we can take the help of other people. Often, some special devices can be used to overcome the disability. Then it becomes possible to carry out our own task independently. If we cannot see well, we can use spectacles. If we cannot see at all, we can make use of sounds or fill with the hands to get things done. You might have seen a blind person using white cane. Blind people use a cane to feel the way in front of them. The sounds they hear around them also help them to know the situation around them. Thus, they can make their way independently even on a crowded road full of traffic. A person who cannot hear well can use a hearing aid. Those who cannot hear at all can use sign language. In some cases, a surgery can help a person to hear. If there is a defect in the leg, a special wheelchair can be used. Then the defect in the leg is no more a hurdle. Thank you.